Explain how this thing works. Well, first of all, I guess the number one most important thing is that it has gas. So where's gas go? Over here? here in the gas tank. Make me a light to see in there. There's a reflection. Must be some gas. Yeah. So that's a little rusty looking, I guess. There. Well, yes. The that, was the, it always like that when you got it? Or? No. Right when I first got it, it was nice, but the gasoline has eaten away the paint. Apparently, this is not gas-proof paint. Right. So. That was okay. So this is oil here, right? Uh. Well, that is. Yeah. Yes. This is where the water will go. If, so you just don't but, have... Well, I don't have any water in it coolant? at the moment. It'll be okay for a little bit. Okay, so this is a magneto. Yes. I suppose. So that makes a spark. Yes, that's right. Okay. And it's got one piston. One cylinder, right. One little, one connecting rod there mm -hmm. attached to a crankshaft. And uh, so how... Would you be able to explain how this, like, this is a centrifugal thing, right? That, That's right. That adjusts speed or keeps it at a certain speed? Well, kind of, yes. So how does that thing It's work? the governor. That's for sure. It's called a governor. Yes, okay. it's a governor. So this engine is what's called a hit and miss. Yeah. Which means when it goes slow enough, then it will fire, and it keeps firing until it's going fast enough that it doesn't need to fire anymore. Yeah. And then, it, as it slows down, then it starts to fire again. So that's so based on these that's spreading right. apart. Based right? on these weights here, yes. These weights move apart, and they move some of the linkage in here, and there's a control arm that uh, holds off. Essentially what it does is it holds off the exhaust valve. So as okay. long as the exhaust valve is held open, then the engine doesn't fire, because it has no compression. Oh, okay. So it doesn't it doesn't pull in gas because there's a valve open, like there's no... There's no uh, suction either. That's right. There's no suction, there's no compression, there's no power stroke, there's nothing. It's just freewheeling. So you can adjust RPM by the spring? By the spring, yes. That's how you do it, yeah. So as the engine gets older, that means it'll run faster or something? Because the springs uh, get... Faster or slower, yeah, whichever it would be. One of them. That's right. And these are basically flywheels. That's all it is, just a flywheel, yeah. Well, this side has a pulley on it to yeah. run a belt. The belt. But otherwise, it's just a flywheel. Like, because the engine only fires when it needs to, it needs a fair-sized flywheel to hold the energy yeah. so that it keeps going. So it keeps going. Right. Otherwise, it it would just get halfway around and quit. Right. So it needs... And these are all oil? Uh, grease. Or grease? Yeah. Grease holders? Yeah, grease cups. Cups? Yeah, they hold grease. You have to, you can take the top of the cup off and then you fill it with grease and you screw the cup back on and the tighter you screw it, the, it forces, oh, forces grease, grease into grease. the... Yeah. It, a grease fitting or a grease nipple is the same idea. You can yeah, replace you these force with them in with a, a grease gun, gun yeah. to, to do it. These are just um, built in. That's all. How much the displacement of this engine? Ooh, I you know? have no idea. Never even thought about figuring it out. It's probably not too tough. I'd say stroke looks like is... the stroke is about maybe four, four, four and a half inches, give or take. Something like that. And the uh, cylinder is maybe, maybe two and a half. Oh, bigger than that. It's probably four inches across. Well, that's pretty big. Well, three and a half for sure. I would think. Maybe might be four. Three and a half. Blind. Who knows? Okay. So do the math. I can't do that math, but nope. maybe someday. I can't in my head either. But let's say it's pretty small. Probably like maybe two hundred. Uh, in cubic inches? No, or in CCs? CC. CCs? Probably a hundred. Okay. At least a hundred. I would think probably closer to two hundred. Let's see what happens. Okay. Is this open then with this up? Yeah. So the it's just dripping oil steadily Slowly down into the, into the into right into onto the cylinder. the cylinder. Yes. Does the cylinder have rings? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Of course you'll never see them because the piston doesn't come yeah, up that far. Yeah. Doesn't come up yeah. that far. Yes, it does. All right. So we'll open up the gas valve. 
or the uh, gas, I guess, not the valve necessarily, and make sure it's choked. And this is a rocker arm, I guess, basically. Well, this is this is the exhaust valve arm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that one's connected so, to the linkage. So as it turns around, because it 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 op yeah. there's the exhaust open. valve opening, so that's the exhaust stroke there. Yeah. So this is the intake stroke here. I guess you can't see the crankshaft. That's the intake stroke. This is the compression stroke. This is the power stroke. And you, I don't know if you could hear it or not. Yeah. But I'll go around. I'll go around one more time. So that's intake, compression, and right there at top yeah. dead center, you. I don't know if you could hear the magneto. That's or the or magneto not. clicking. But yes. So was there a spark when yep, you did that? There would have been. Cool. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's inside the cylinder. Yeah. But yes. All right. And then power stroke, and then we're back to exhaust stroke. So does something open the intake valve, or is it just the intake, open? Or? The intake valve is purely vacuum driven. Oh, okay. So it doesn't have. So a as the piston pulls out, it. Yeah. That's right. It as yeah. as the uh, as there's suction on the piston going down the cylinder, it just pulls fuel air mixture in from the bottom through this valve, and it just pulls the valve open through a spring. And this is, this is the intake? Sorry. Yeah, this is the intake here. There's so a choke on that's it. That's choked at the moment, yes, so we can unchoke it. To cool. All right. So It's going to be loud-ish. Well, it hasn't been run for months. If, it's, if it works. So, yeah, if yeah. it works. Has to get the gas flowing. There we go. There we go. There we go. Seems like it fires pretty well every. Yeah, it does, and it's not supposed to do that. There's a piece on the linkage here that's just too worn, uh -huh. and I have to replace it so that it will actually hold the exhaust valve open right. because it doesn't quite catch. So it doesn't hold the exhaust valve open because otherwise it probably wouldn't even be spinning that fast. Yeah, it's firing too often. So that's my project for the rest of the winter is to fix that. <laughs> 